Good afternoon and welcome back to another Citroen video, my 2008 Citroen C4 Grand Picasso. And in this video we're going to be replacing a CV boot. So as you can see, this inner CV boot is absolutely destroyed. So I think it's like I'm gonna to have to pull the drive shaft out to get to this one. So I'll get that, I'll get the drive shaft out. So I've got the drive shaft out and as you can see this the CV boot is utterly destroyed. And I've got a new one here. So I think it's a decent quality one GK and I got that from Euro Car Parts. Uh, don't forget I'll put a link in the description right okay so I can now uh, fit the new CV boot so I thought I'll uh, do this job on the bench it's starting to rain so there's my new uh, CV boot okay I've uh, got pliers and I've got the circlet pliers as well got them on, on Amazon so just pull this clip off I might need to use something else Get it with the pliers. There we go. That's that's one. So clip off. Now I need to make a note. There's a there's a groove on there. So that's where the CV boot will need to go. Right. I have to put this off. I might have to uh, undo, um, take it out at this end. I'll just have to see how that goes. I mean these these CV boots are supposed to stretch now. To make my life a little bit easier if I can find it, put this boot off with the Stanley knife. There's the only way to get, get it off. Uh, a remnant put it here as well get this off so I'll just put this a bit of towel on me probably need a bit more towel right I'll do I need to do the same at this end this uh, circle up off I might have to use some snips. Should I if this is going to work or not? No. Tin snips are definitely not the tool for the job. See if I'm getting with the side cuts, maybe not. So I seem to be struggling with this one. Right, 
I think I found a way to just prise it off. I just prise it off the drive shaft. And that seems to be seems to work if I just prise it off the drive shaft and off it comes. So we're ready to fit a new C V boot. The problem I've noticed is getting it over here. So I'm not sure how I'm going to go about that. I'll probably have to take, take this one off. Take it off at this end. Now some, I should have some spare circle, drive shaft circle somewhere. But if not, I might have to think of something else. So now this this stuff's made of rubber so it should should stretch but getting that over there may prove to be a bit difficult. So I'll see if I can find me uh, my C V joint circlips and then we'll carry on. So good news is I've found one so what I can do is I can take this take this one off and then just knock it knock it off it should just come straight off um, if you've seen any vw polo videos you'll know what i mean so we'll go for this we'll pull this out of the cv joint off So that's off. So we'll just get this in the vise. suitable I might should there we go a few taps with the lump on that and off it comes so slide the new boot on and try to stretch it over so I'll get one of our new sir clips use the ones in the kit slide that over we get our circlip pliers. Just give them a good squeeze. Oops. Don't think you see this too well. Have a look. Just oh yeah, that clips on. I forgot to do that, so that just clips on. I need to uh, knock it, get it to the next notch. Just take this off and. Need to gently press it off. I might, I might be able to crimp it on where it where it is. Maybe not. 
I need to be careful, I don't want to don't wanna damage this one. Just move it up to next notch. That's a better fit. And then get the CV pliers and crimp it on. See if we can fall that, that wasn't anything important. No. Feel good. Okay, we've got a good grip, so oops. Might need to take it up to the next notch. Yeah, I think I'll need to take it up to the next notch. No, it won't. Second match of what right one. Seems to be fighting me a bit. Yeah, it was definitely the right spot. Right, rather than struggle, pull this boot off again. CV boot and fit the clip on, then we'll put the boot on. Sometimes you got to try several ways before you find the right one. I'm having a rethink on this. CV boot clip. Right, okay, we'll try again. I seem to be struggling at every turn. I'm going to do this off camera because I'll be here all day at this rate. Well, it took some doing, but I got that on and having the proper tool out, so we'll get the other end on. And um, comes with some grease. So we'll just pack this full of grease and then get some up. So just shove two loads of grease in this because it'll have lost some when torn CV boot so I just shove the shove the lot in I don't really can see this I'm sorry the camera works a bit shy but 
Right, so that's packed full of grease. So this should just pop in. clip on into the drive shaft in the vise careful not to knock the camera to be able to hold this vise into a slightly better position so can, there we go that's better much better Knock the camera over, and it would have been one for the bloopers. We're getting somewhere now, so just need to uh, get this circle on. All right, oh, yes, so that's on. Secure it with the pliers. Uh, just press down and squeeze. Basically, job done. Just need to refit the the outer boot. The outer CV. So I'll grab my my clip. Need to find out where. Straighten that out so the splines line up and click on. Uh, just carefully tap the end. No. Just feel for the spline, line it up. Yeah, I felt the spline engage, so... <laughs> no, I'm struggling once again. <sighs> I might have to take this clip off as well. I've got, got, I've got, enough, repli got enough replacement clips. <sighs> so... Yeah, I'll pull off this. This clip should have done. Should have done the outer, the outer, the big.
clip. So off that comes. Plenty of grease in that one. So we'll fit this, fit this in the one first. Probably the best course of action. We've got our approximate, approximate radius. Uh, might be struggling to do, do this off camera as well. Well, I managed to get it back together, so it's all ready to go back on the car. I'll do that off camera as well because uh, I did show all that when I had to uh, fit, fit this drive shaft. This is a second hand drive shaft I got from. Oh, I can't remember where I got it from. Uh, there's a few, I remember having a few issues at the time, but. Alright, it's good to go. So we'll get it fitted. This is unbelievable. After all that struggling to get this bloody boot on, there's a tear in it. Oh, I'm not happy, but I'm glad I found it now and not when I were putting it all back on the car. So I think what I'm gonna do, I'll uh, I'll get see, I'll get after see if I can uh, get hold of one because I don't I don't want to leave this uh, over the weekend or or longer. So I'll try a few more factors, see if they've got, anyone's got one in stock and then once I've got one I can carry on with this job. So I managed to find, a, find an outer CV boot at a local motor factor for a tenner. Got that fit, so that should be good. So I'll get this back on car, do that off camera and then that be, should be job completed. That's job done and it's a lot better than it was before. No torn CV boot, I managed to clean up some of the grease as well. Uh, so. That's it for this video, just thought I'd show you the, uh, the end result before I put the wheel back on. So that's it for this particular video, I got the job done. I uh, didn't plan on replacing both CV boots but uh, yeah, you got to do what you got to do. Uh, I'm going to enjoy my cup of tea now, uh, clean up my tools, I'll put them away a bit later on. I hope you enjoyed this video, please remember to like, subscribe, share, ring that notification bell and you get notified of videos. And you don't forget to select it all and then you get notified when I upload anything which is usually Fridays and Sundays at 6pm UK time uh, con content permitting but I definitely upload once a week anyway questions and comments you know where to put them as ever thanks for watching and I'll see you there.